taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lights here, we're back with another Zen Crypto video. Guys, I know that Pepe has taken over crypto. He has hijacked every significant YouTube channel. Every big influencer is talking about Pepe. I understand that. I know that. I'm also talking about Pepe. I'm also holding Pepe, but we can't forget about Zen. Okay, guys. When we look on Ether Scan, well, I saw this posted by Jack Levin. Okay. Top five on Ether Scan Bef behind Ethereum. Behind Teva stablecoin, just behind Pepe, obviously the hype coin in the market right now, meme coin. Uh, we have Zen, okay, guys, Zen, and then after that, USDC coin. So, Zen is in the top five trending on Ether Scan, okay, guys. So, of course, if you've been following the channel, you know that we're bullish on Zen on this channel, okay, and we are accumulating Zen. Zen is deflationary or disinflationary, sorry, not inflation, not deflationary is disinflationary after eight years for many that don't understand this right after eight years you will no longer be able to mint zen for free um, each year that goes by the amount of zen that you can mint for free is going to be decreasing okay guys it's going to be decreasing uh, so getting your mints in early is the best strategy over the last 24 hours i have been doing a bunch of nft mints taking profits in other tokens using some profits, very small amount of profits on various chains, just to mint several NFTs or Zen NFTs so that I can accumulate more Zen for the long run. I believe it's a long-term project, so it makes sense to mint Zen for free on several different chains. And by the time those mints mature, hopefully Zen will be a much higher price across all chains. Okay, guys. And yeah, I mean, if you look at this chart, right, you can see that we do expect the number of users to increase over time. We expect the amount of Zen you can mint for free to reduce over time. Okay. And by year eight, we are in year one. We are right over here. We're right at the beginning of Zen, guys. There's going to be people that get in over here. Year four, year five, or let's just go with year two. Okay. Year two, there's going to be people saying, what is this Zen? People that still don't know about Zen, they don't know what it is. They're going to be minting. It's going to be the first time they've discovered it. And they're going to be trying to get in on this party. We've been in from here. We've been in from year zero. Okay, guys. It's been about six or seven months. So we're going into year one pretty soon. Still super early. Okay, guys. And time flies. By the time we reach year eight, time would have flown, guys. You're going to be thinking, wow, it's been eight years already. Okay, guys. So this is like the early stages of Bitcoin. This is a fair crypto. It launched with basically, you know, no holders. Um, even the founder didn't have any Zen. Um, you can mint it for free. Uh, liquidity is provided by the community. Um, it's fair crypto at its best. Okay, guys. So I want you to understand that despite this dip that we have on this chart, right? Because I'm getting comments from people saying, "I should have known Zen is gonna, you know, Zen is falling. You know, these YouTubers, this and that, right?" I don't know why people attack you influencers when you know the prices where people are just clearly taking profits. Me personally, I'm still holding Zen. I've actually bought more Zen during this time. Okay, guys. So influencers are not always just dumping on the community. Okay. I know somebody said something about a certain influencer that did say that he had and, and I didn't hear this firsthand, right? But apparently there's a certain influencer out there who said that he caused this, maybe. I don't know if that's true. But um he's been selling Zen okay um, that's his right okay guys but this is the long game we're playing the long game on zen um the good news is, is this is a descending triangle okay guys so this is actually a bullish pattern there's a high percentage chance that this will break out to the upside and that may only be a short-term move uh, because if it does come up there's going to be people that are going to want to take profit so it might come up and then back down okay guys but you know this looks like a very bullish pattern it's a descending triangle probably break out to this support uh this resistance sorry could even come all the way up if it's really bullish and it's got a lot of volume and it just could come back down okay guys so those are the, 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 that's why i expect from this chart potentially um in the short term okay but um we want it to come back down and consolidate and find a nice base so that somewhere along the line we can begin to see more accumulation 
and there we see the price go up again we have the phoenix launch coming on uh, may the 13th for ethereum the ethereum launch and we expect to see more zen being burned we have zen doge coming up we expect to see more zen being burned if you're not sure what i'm talking about okay so uh going back to phoenix so phoenix is a certificate of deposit platform similar to hex uh where you can earn a yield uh, you have to basically burn zen to get into this project so that is going to cause more zen to be burned i'm not sure how popular it's going to be as um you know it did launch on on, on a polygon to start with and um yeah i mean it's uh it's a different ball game over there it's a different ball game on polygon in my opinion i think a lot of people could potentially be waiting out for the ethereum launch so maybe we see a bunch of zen getting burnt we see the zen m zen polygon zen is falling very much harder than ethereum remember it has less liquidity it is very much more volatile okay that being said and um yeah the next one is zen doge get up zen doge so zen doge is probably the more exciting project especially with being meme coin season right now i think that there is a huge chance that this can do some crazy numbers okay guys especially if people keep the same type of excitement and momentum that we're seeing in the market right now with pepe and so on but um, this one again you need to burn zen to get into this project so we're going to see in a bunch we're going to be seeing a bunch of burning on zen okay guys uh, so that is probably going to play going to help us move to the upside as well potentially all right guys but again just like i said in the previous video you got to learn to zoom out and you'll see that this is nothing this is nothing guys this is not even the real pump okay the real pump hasn't come yet okay guys this is us just basically coming up to resistance and pulling back so the next time we come up here i see us potentially breaking out when we can gain a little bit of a base up here we we're probably going to break out we're going to see a huge pump to the upside potentially there's very little resistance above this area very little resistance look at all of this all of this space okay guys so um yeah staying bullish on zen um you know we are really early i can't stress to you how early we are we're literally in the first year of zen okay guys and zen launch in the bear market okay so imagine what zen can do in a bull market um you know I'm, I'm excited to see uh what the future holds for this particular project and again we're going to see more projects even more than the ones that i've just shown you like phoenix and zen doge we're going to see a lot more project uh projects coming out which will help to burn zen okay guys making it not just disinflationary right so not just disinflationary but making zen deflationary okay guys um guys subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications let me know your views in the comment section down below i'll be happy to hear from you and that's about it for this video and i'll see you in the next one